What's up, Andrew? What's going on, Tonya? And fellow cave dwellers. Welcome to the channel. Uh, we did a live on Wednesday night, like we do every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock, so join us. And we shared with the world the final production numbers of Camaro, first of all, and of the Collector's Editions. Breakdown by trim level. And we wanted to do a short video because I know that one was about two hours long. Uh, so, like we are live, they just take off on us. But we wanted to do a short video to show you the proof that we were not wrong. That we're basically showing you what GM sent us. So, here it is, guys the breakdown of each trim level of the collector's edition and how many cars of each trim level, coupe and convertible. GM and built for the final year, 2024. Of the collector's editions. Exactly. Something to reference so you can stop blowing up the emails. Yeah. There's Bagheera. There's our 2024 collector's edition at my dealership. We picked it up a little over a month ago. There's us and the cats. And here it is, guys. Here it is. Hi, Andrew. Attached is a scan of the signed letter that we're getting from GM. Uh, the original will be mailed to your address like provided. Here are the Z4B numbers by model. For your personal use, please mention the GM archives as a source of data. Hmm. Thank you, GM Thank archives. you, GM archives. And let's just show you and do the breakdown for you so you guys can understand what is going on. So, for the 24 model year, all Camaro Z4B Collector's Edition, they made for the 1LT, we'll start with the 1LT and go all the way up. So we'll do coupes then convertibles. 1LT coupe, as you can see, they made 21 cars. That's it, 21. 2LT, they made 14. 14 coupes, guys. 3LT, 189. So 3LT is the highest trim level of the V6, so you figure they'd make more of any other trim level to make money. LT1 coupes, 17 guys, only 17. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. How rare are these cars actually are gonna be and the value of them. And if a dealer still has one and they see these numbers, markups for sure. See, when it says coupe 1SE, 1SE is ZL1. That is the code for ZL1 uh, on the back end of General Motors. So when you see 1SE, that actually means ZL1. So that's the ZL1 Collector's Edition where they made 274 coupes for U.S., Canada, and Mexico. That's combined. And all these numbers include the ZL1 Collector's Editions, which come to a total of 350. And you'll see why. So they got 274 coupes. And over here on the convertibles, we'll get to that. 1SS, which is, it's getting so hard and it just shows how rare these cars are. They're only making eight cars. Well, they only made eight cars. So if you have a 1SS collector's edition, you have one of eight. That's just ridiculous. Then you got to the, this little yellow section, which everyone's like, what's the yellow section? I know it's hard to read. I get it. But it's yellow because our car is a 2SS. So for 2SS, they only made 405 units. So we are one of six, and I'll explain what that means. But we are one of six of 405 coupes. So they made 405 coupe collector's editions. Uh, and obviously it's gonna, it's gonna be the highest number out of all the additions because the 2SS is where they make the bread and butter, that's where it makes them the most money, and they can charge the highest. Besides ZL1, but they only made 350, so 2SS, they made more 2SS's than ZL1 collector's editions. Right off the bat. Then, now we're gonna get to convertibles where the numbers get really, really low. One LT convertible at collector's edition, you're at eight units. 2LT, you're at 13 units. 3LT, you're at 147 units. You figure it's more money, so they make more of them. But still, you're one of 147. Crazy. And then here we go. 
LT1 convertible. They made four, guys. Four. See, here, here and here we go. Convertible, 1SE. 1SE is the ZL1. So ZL1 convertible, 76. So 76 plus 274 equals 350, guys. So 350 ZL1s. And then here we go. Here we go. We get the rarest, the rarest collector's edition is a 1SS convertible. And they made one of one. And we're going to drop a video of that car because it's still available. You can still get it. And you can reach out to the dealership. It's in Pennsylvania. And we'll include all the details in this description. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. And to the 2SS. If you got a 2SS, like the president of NEOCC, he has one of 158. Actually, he has number one of 158, which is kind of crazy. Which comes, if you were doing the math, guys, before I show you the number, that is a total number for collector's editions. They only made 1,335 units. That's just mind boggling. It really is, because that is the rarest trim low, like rarest edition for the whole, I'm guessing, for the whole six generation cars. And these are the last ones. So if you're telling me they made 1,335 units out of 12,870 total units for 2024, that is, that's, uh, that's less in than 10% five in five months. That's on top of going down the line with Cadillac. So they made all those cars on the same line as they made Cadillac CT4s and CT5s, including all the Black Wings, <laughs> in five months. It's it's crazy that that factory that the guys over there in Lansing did a great job, um, and we're happy and proud to own one of these collector's editions. Uh, like I said, it's just it's it's a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. Um, but we wanted to do a shorter video for you guys and show you it because uh, that is our collector's edition, and we just got this in the mail today, and we are gonna drop another video of the unveiling of the collector's edition package. That, that if you did get a collector's edition car, you should have got an email from General Motors asking you to submit a all, all your contact information and your address so they can ship you a gift. And we'll show you in the next video what the gift is all about. But that is that is what you're going to get. And we're just really honored to be able to have a piece of Camaro history, guys. Codename Panther, back to the origins of 1966. When Camaro came out to fight the rival Mustang. So, what do you think, Tony? I think now they have the numbers and they can stop blowing up our, <clears throat> our uh, comments and making me spend hours and hours trying to answer those questions. It, the car is just unbelievable. It really is. And it's crazy because we have a sixth generation car already. Um, but it, they, they're just total, two different animals. And I love her, I love my 16, but it's, it's it's night and day between the two cars. So we appreciate you guys being here on the channel, and don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button for us, and stay tuned because we got a lot more content coming. Peace out.